<laughs> Good morning to you, sir. Uh, welcome to the Newport Palms Marina. I'm certain that you'll have a wonderful stay with us. Oh, I'm sure that I will. It is a darling pleasure. Yes, it is. It, it's lovely, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know me? Have we met? Uh, slightly. <laughs> I'm your grandfather, Toddy. <laughs> Grandpa Toddy! <laughs> Grandpa Toddy! Bye, my chicken! And this charming Colleen can be none other than your own sweet Nora. <laughs> Yes, that's right, Grandpa. I get a chance to meet you. Ah, she's as fair as a rose is sharing you. Oh, boys, 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 look, look. Oh, these two fine Irish-looking lads must be the two boys you wrote me about, Timmy and Buddy. Yes, this is Timmy, that's Buddy. Yes, oh. boys, this is your great-grandfather. My great-grandfather? Ah, uh, this one has the makings of a darling soccer player. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, do you know that the last time I saw your father, he was but a lad of eight? And look at him now. Look how he's grown. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly two inches. <laughs> Grandpa, uh, how did you get here from Los Angeles? By taxi cab. You took a taxi all the way from Los Angeles? Why, it must have cost you a fortune. <laughs> Back home in Ireland, I'm known as Diamond Jim Grady. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, begging your pardon, Diamond Jim Grady. Your fare is 37 bucks. Thirty-seven dollars? He insisted on the scenic route. <laughs> the scenic route. <laughs> Not another penny, Michael. Didn't I pay you enough? But this is phony money, Pop. Phony money, is it? <laughs> them is good sound Irish pound notes, I'll have you know. Don't you be calling them phony. Oh, and there. I may be a 79 and a half year of age, but I can still handle myself in a brand again. Hang on to that stick. Defend yourself, Grandpa. Defend yourself. Defend yourself. Oh, 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 oh. There it goes. The knee, the knee, the knee. Oh, the knee. Oh, oh, oh. Your knee? Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Granddaddy. Are, are, are you all right? Yeah, the devil a bit. It's just that trick knee of mine. Keeps popping out on me. Oh. An old soccer wound from oh. me days of glory. Sorry. Uh, uh, I'll trade you this leprechaun loot for some American dough. <laughs> uh, that, that was $37? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. 35 and there's two twos. And here, there's a little something for yourself. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, I, 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 I'll pay you back as soon as I can back this. Oh, all right. Oh. Now, uh, ignore me, darling. How about showing me about the place? Oh, huh? I'd love to, Grandpa. Come along. Oh, splendid. Wait a minute. Gee, Dad, our great-grandfather. This is our carrots, Grandpa. We often eat out here. Outside of the house, mind uh -huh. you. Well, now, you know, I could do with a nice hot cup of tea. A man has to keep up his vim and vigor. By all means. We'll get it for you, dear, yes. but I want you to see our view. Isn't it lovely? Oh. It is nice. On a clear day, you can see Catalina, Grandfather. Catalina? Catalina. Oh, I've always wanted to see what? Catalina. Catalina. Yeah. Oh, oh. Take the air. Oh, there goes my knee. Grandpa. <laughs> Pardon me, ma'am. I was looking for Catalina. is brought to you by ABC, where I'll be seeing you on Burke's Law. This is Gene Barry inviting you to join me every Wednesday night on ABC. <laughs>
most men. It just isn't Christmas without Old Spice. The gift with that masculine spice fresh aroma, exclusive with Old Spice. Give a lot of pleasure. Give Old Spice by Scholten from one dollar to ten fifty. Oh, I had the most marvelous stroll. Good. I, I, I got a citation for, uh, for, for, for jaywalking. I haven't the slightest idea what it's all about. It's about $10, that's what it is. Yeah, well, take care of it for me, will you, Michael? I'll pay you back just as soon as I convert me money. Oh, forget the money, Grandfather. Uh, uh, tell me, tell me, is there a town around here by the name of uh, 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 Laguna? Oh, Laguna. 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 Just a few short miles from here. Why? Oh, just somebody there that I know. Nothing important. Oh. Well, we have your room all ready for you. I hope you like it. Ah, Kirsten, now I hope you didn't go and inconvenience yourself. No. Sure, I'm not at all particular about where I lay my head. <laughs> I've laid it down by the side of the road many a time. Ah, oh, <laughs> this is nice. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Grandfather. Oh, this is sweet of you. Giving up your darling room just for me. Oh, look, oh, grandfather, oh, grandfather, this is sour. Oh, what a marvelous mattress. Soft as a Killarney cloud. Yes, well, actually, Buddy's room is very nice. I too. think you like Buddy's room. Oh, your clothes and Buddy's. Very nice. <laughs> Well, it looks like we're going to end up in Buddy's room. Looks like. <laughs> now, darling, I know he's your grandfather, but you must go in there and tell him he has gone too far. Nora, darling, what can I say? He's such a lovable little man. Oh, he's very lovable. He just lovable us right out of our bedroom. <laughs> These just arrived for you, Mrs. Grady. Oh, aren't they? Of course. <laughs> they what a are beautiful. beautiful. Bud. Yeah, who are they from, darling? Well, let's see. <laughs> oh, Grandpa Toddy. Mm. Oh, but they're so expensive, darling. He shouldn't spend his money that way. <laughs> he didn't. The floors won't accept Irish money, so we send the flowers COD. Uh, Mrs. Grady, you owe me uh, $22.60. <laughs> Good night, sweetie. Good night, sweetie. Oh, Mickey, just, yeah. just come here. Just out of curiosity. Yeah. Who do you think it is that Grandpa knows down in Laguna? I have no idea. But if we're lucky, maybe you'll go down and spend a couple of weeks with whoever it is. <laughs> I'm just so sorry that he's inconvenienced you, darling. It's all right. You know, in a way, I'm kind of grateful to him. Grateful to him? For what? Well, if it wasn't for him, you'd have never been born. You're not only beautiful, you're quite a philosopher. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night, Terry. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that did it. Oh. Good night, darling. Good night, Oh, I feel good. What happened? Oh. What happened? It was torpedoed. <laughs> Mickey. Well, there's music. Oh, we'll dance to it. Yeah. What? Oh, oh, music. Where's it? What time is it? Oh, no, it's six o'clock in the morning. I know. Well, six in the morning. He's having a parade at six in the morning. Somebody is playing records out by the pool. Records? Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'll go out and stop him. Oh. Oh, yes. I forgot what bitch Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Six o'clock in the morning. Good night. One, two, three, four. Higher, higher, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What's happened? Oh, the top of the morning here, Mikey, me boy. The top of the morning here. Come on, join in with us. No, it's it's six o'clock in the morning. Ah, the most beautiful time of the day. Come on now, Mikey. Join in with the crowd here. 
Come on, come on. No, no, wait a minute. It's six o'clock in the morning. It's six. It's six. No, I know we can get it off and I overslip. But I gotta make up now for about for lost time. One, two, three. I'm amazed at you. How could you let Grandpa come out and make all this racket? I came out here to stop him. So what happened? Next thing, I'm honorary member of St. Patrick's Athletic Marching and Child Society. <laughs> Just to get in his sleep with all this racket. You woke up by poodle. Oh, I'm sorry about your poodle, Mrs. Freeman. Ah, uh, the top of the morning to all of you. You're just in time for a few knee bends. Knee bends? Waking me up in the middle of the night. Why, you old coot. Oh, no, no he, he, didn't, he didn't mean it, Grandpa. Oh. Ah, uh, now you're just in a bad jubilee because you don't exercise enough. A few good knee bends will make a new man of you. If you weren't such an old man, I'd smash you. He said it again. He means it. Oh, no, twice in the same no, no, time. No, no, calm down, Daddy. Daddy. You cotton headed old sparpy. What? 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 Come on, Tilly. Pick up the bags. Let's get out of this gymnasium. <laughs> but sure, I... Mrs. Freebish, I... Uh, I don't understand it, Nora. That's the tenth checkout we've had this morning. And they so mad they not even take ashtrays or towels. If we want to keep any of the guests that we have left, Grandpa Toddy is going to have to go. You're right, darling, but... But how am I going to tell him without hurting him? My father had a foolproof scheme to get rid of his mother-in-law. What did he do? He moved out of the house. Nicky, look, just, just tell him the truth. You're right, I'll... I'll just be honest with him, tell him the truth. Granddaddy. It's best I be going home, Michael. I'm only in the way here. It's an old man making life miserable for you and your... Happy little family. That isn't true. It isn't so. But uh, at least I had a chance to spend these few precious hours with you. And when you get to be an old man, Michael, in the winter of your life, you cherish the fleeting moments. But it's a long, long time from May to September. But the days grow short when you reach December. We all love you very much. Very much. And we'd, we'd be happy to have you stay for six months. Six months, is it? You want me to stay for six months? I sure heart the time I thought you wanted me to believe it. I was just using that as a figure of speech. Oh, Mikey, not another word if you insist. Six months it is. But... Not a day longer. <laughs> Six months. <laughs> sure, I'd have settled for one. Santa's round the world, he sent his happy Christmas fare. Betty Crocker's festive fixings for the foreign flair. It's filled with foreign recipes, gold medal gives you free. From Scotland, a delicious treat, the Bonnie shortbread tree. Cookies from Mexico, cookies from Spain, there's so many cookies. Fancy or plain, it's free. It's free and filled with easy recipes for you. Inside gold medal, flower sacks, the white one, or the blue. This is my daddy. He picks up grapefruit. Makes our car look nice. Helps mommy with the dishes. Oh, Where does he get his go? From me. I give him my Cheerios. They're good for him, too. Mommy says they give him protein. And daddy says they taste terrific. Real toasty. So give your daddy some go, and he'll help you with your homework. Big G, little O. Go with the goodness of Cheerios. Six months. If Grandpa Toddy stays six months, this hotel gonna look like the dark side of the moon. When he started talking about it, it's a long, long time from May to September. I guess I just got carried away. Darling, we all love Grandpa very much, but he is not going to stay for six months. Now, come on, let's go talk to him. 
Oh, uh... Hey, Bitch can't do that. Oh. Ah, sure, I bet he can. Here, Mikey, give it a try. Oh, wait, just a minute. Uh, boys, uh, would you excuse us, please? We'd like to talk to Jim. Grandpa. Don't forget, Grandpa, we're going water skiing after lunch. That we are, me lad. That we are. Now, uh, Granddaddy, you can sit down there a minute. I just want to talk to you for a minute. Uh, the fact is, Actually, Nora... darling, you see, uh, we... we hey, were... I, I understand. Six months is a long time, isn't it? <laughs> well, to tell the truth and shame the devil, Sir, I'm a bit lonesome for Dublin myself. And a bit anxious to be getting back. I'd go tomorrow if it wasn't for one thing. What's that? Molly O'Mara. Molly O'Mara? Yes, uh, we, we met a couple of years after your blessed grandmother went to her eternal reward. Molly had just buried her husband and but together we found a bit of solace for our loneliness. And then, without the least bit of warning... What happened? I fell in love. Grandpa, you're in love? Well, you needn't be so surprised. After all, as the old saying goes, just because there's snow on the roof doesn't mean that there isn't fire in the basement. Oh, Grandpa, I think it's wonderful that you're in love. Uh, if she'd marry me, I'd take her back to Ireland in the next plane. What do you mean, what do you mean, if she'd marry you? Why won't she marry you? Because. Because why? Because I haven't asked her. <laughs> oh, no. But I, I, I know good at this romance, and... Every time I try to get up my courage to pop the question, I... I, 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 I get tongue-tied. Oh, Grandpa, not you. Well, it is sad, but it's true. I... Would, by the time I got up my courage to propose to her, she'd up and sail to America. She... She runs a little antique shop in Laguna. In Laguna? That's why you... <laughs> you rascal. Look, why don't we hop in my automobile and we'll go down and, and surprise her? Uh, no, 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 no. I, 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 I'd be afraid to face her. Afraid? Why? Well, uh, I, I'd be afraid that maybe she wouldn't feel the same about me. And uh, if she turned me down, I, I don't think I could stand it. Oh, no, you're just being childish about the whole thing. No, I'm being a coward. <laughs> Look, I, 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 I'm sorry I told you both about Molly O'Mara. Now, I, I'd be eternally grateful to both of you if you just forget the whole thing. Just, just, just forget it. Forget it. Forget the whole thing. Nothing. How is he ever going to marry her when he won't even go and see her? Well, I'm afraid that our Romeo is just a little bit bashful and we're going to have to boost him up to Juliet's balcony. <laughs> You know, there's nothing more delightful than a, a lovely piece of 19th century furniture. This, this is 19th century furniture? Oh, well, not yet, but uh, it will be before I get through with it. <laughs> At least 1891. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you come in for a special piece or, or, or just, just browsing about? Well, actually, are you Molly O'Mara? That I am. I came to see you. I'm Mickey Grady. Oh, Mickey Grady. Grady, did you say? You couldn't be... Come here, son. You couldn't be related to... You could, too. You've got the same sly twinkle in your eye and a wrinkle in your nose. I plead guilty, Miss O'Mara. I'm Toddy Grady's grandson. Well... Toddy's staying with us now over at Newport Beach. Toddy? At Newport Beach? Oh, you mean Toddy's in, in America? Yes, and I was thinking, if you could, we could close shop maybe here now for a little while and hop in my automobile and go over to the beach and we could surprise Toddy. Not a bit of it. Toddy knows where I am. Let him surprise me. Well, I'm sure that he would want to do that, Miss O'Mara, except that I, I don't think that Toddy feels that, well, that you feel the same way about him. That's the trouble with Toddy Grady. No gumption. 
has no confidence in himself. And another thing I tell you, he's about as, as romantic as a Wilfred Shamrock. <laughs> that, is, that isn't true. Why, why, you're all he talks about, Miss O'Mara. Toddy wants to marry you. Oh. Heaven only knows the many years I've been waiting to marry him. But he keeps pussyfooting around. Won't pop the question I'm dying to answer. It's awful. Mr. Grady. You see, I want to be wooed. Swept off me feet, as it were. You know, just like any other Colleen. <laughs> Grandpa, all women like to be wooed. They seem silly, but uh, it's very important to us females. What she says is the truth. And no one can do the wooing for you. But I just make a fool of myself. Oh, you don't make a fool of yourself. What are you talking about? Uh, look, I'm far from a Casanova, and I swept Nora off her feet. Well, uh, how did you go about it, Michael? What did you do? Yes, Michael. Tell us how you swept me off my feet. <laughs> well, uh, well now, now, now picture this. Uh, it was a country club dance, you see. It's a dance. And I said, uh, may I have this little dance? And we're dancing along. Uh, the floor is all kind of crowded. You know, we were of... dancing out on the terrace. That's right, dear. Here, we'll show you. See, we were dancing. Because I suggested we dance under the full moon. She suggested that we go out and dance under the full moon. See, we're dancing close. Cheek to cheek like this. And I said to her, I said, darling, now that I'm holding you in my arms, I want to hold you there for the rest of my life. Understand? Uh, I said, I love you, Nora. Will you marry me? <laughs> yes, darling. She said, would you marry me, darling? I said, you propose to me? Of course, I Otherwise, I'd have snow on my roof, and I'd still be single. Hey. It runs in the family, Michael. <laughs> None of us greatest has ever had any courage when it comes to wooing. No, no, wait a minute. That's how I got married the first time. What do you mean, how? Your grandmother proposed to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Space leader to moon pilot. Space leader to moon pilot. Do you read me? Buddy, what, what on earth are you doing? I'm talking to moon pilot in outer space. On my space phone. That's a space phone? Yeah. The guy you're talking to wears a receiver in his ear. A receiver in his ear? And does it work? Sure does. And without any wires. It's a good way for the Martian spies. For the Martian spies? We may be able to fool more than Martian spies. I think we found a way to help you with your wooing. With that silly contraption. Oh, come now, my dear. Here, now, it'll work. Look, try it. Show me how it works, buddy. Okay. Space leader to moon pilot. Put it on a double. Space leader to moon. You call, master? <laughs> This is the fourth time we've been around this park, Toddy Grady. What are you trying to do, wear me out? Uh, well, I thought the exercise would do you good. But now that you mention it, this is a fine place to sit down. Why don't you sit down there now? Oh, That's it. right down there, then. Thank you. <laughs> well, now, we're sitting here, aren't you going to say something? Oh, I, I will, I will, I will. Well, all right, Let, let's hear it. I can't live without you, darling. The years we've been apart have been torture to me. Uh, the, the years we've been apart uh, uh, have been a torture to me. Oh, tell me more, Toddy. Tell me more. I will, just as soon as I hear some more. <laughs> what are you talking about? I mean, uh, I mean, I, I, well, uh, it's not right that we should live apart any longer. The years we've been apart have been a torture to me. The years we've been apart a bit. No, they already said that. I know. What, Taddy? I, 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 I'm repeating myself. Oh, oh, oh. You, you know what I mean. Surely by now you, you must know how I feel. Well, I do, Taddy, but I like to hear you say it. You do. I knew the minute that I laid eyes on you that you were the one that was meant for me. Marry me, my darling, and make me the happiest man on earth. You're wasting your time, buddy. That horse ain't your type. <laughs> so you've got it all wrong. Officer, 
You've got it all wrong. There's some kind of interference here. Interference? Now, Toddy Grady, behave yourself. Now, let's get down from there. Hurry up. Uh, uh, let's take a little stroll to the police station. Uh, you'll never be happy with the horse. Never be happy with a horse? You'll never be happy with a horse. Oh, stop belittling yourself, Toddy Grady. Sure, that's a silly thing to do. Toddy, me darling, at last you're proposing to me on your knee, just as I always hoped you would. Oh, bless your soul. <laughs> bless me soul. <laughs> and the space age. Hey, Joe, how do you like this winter wonderland stuff, huh? Tough, huh, Mike? Say, Mike, you do anything special about gasoline for winter? Yes, I always use that dry gasoline. Dry gasoline? That's Sunoco. Why, what do you do? Well, I always move up to premium for the higher octane, you know, but I hate that four cent price jump. You're crazy to pay that kind of money. At Sunoco, you can start moving up to higher octane for just a penny or two more, and you'll be getting dry gasoline. Yes, if you like higher octane gasoline for winter, the custom blending pump at Sunoco is your best answer for premium performance at lower cost. It offers eight different gasolines at eight different prices. And all Sunoco custom blended gasolines are dry. You get fast starts, fast warm up, protection against stalling and gas line freeze up. So stop at Sunoco soon and solve your winter driving problems. When you stop at Sunoco, you go with confidence. I'm going to have a lot of them printed up so you can give them to some of your friends. Oh, good, 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 good. good. Mr. Grady, yeah. want to take a picture of me and buy the bouquet I caught? <laughs> we'll see how lucky you get, Ling. <laughs> Why don't you let them cut the cake, Dad? Hold it. The bride and groom have to make a wish. Yes, you, you, you've you got to make a wish. I don't have to make a wish. Mine's come true already. <laughs> Grandpa Toddy, are you going to Ireland on your honeymoon? Be going to Ireland after our honeymoon. After? Where are you going on the honeymoon? Or is it a secret? No, oh, it is no secret. We're going to honeymoon for six months. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey has been brought to you by... ABC, where we'll be seeing you every Friday night. Join us. The Adams Family.